Hey there, I'm going to talk today about transactional relationships, transactional love and narcissists and what that is and all what it entails, why they do it. So if you don't know me, I'm Lise Colucci. I want to help you with anything related to narcissism and understanding narcissism and how, how it affects you and how to heal from it. Basically, how do narcissists love? Narcissists love transactionally. They relate transactionally to you in that it means everything that they're doing, all relationship, all loves, tabs are being kept. And what they are doing, they expect to receive. When they give, they expect to get. When uh, the relationship is built on expectations of reciprocity. While we all would like to receive back from something in a loving relationship, that is different than a relationship that is a reciprocal relationship just naturally because of a person giving and the other person giving and therefore you both receive. This is an expectation of that. This is a self-serving agenda to get as much or more than they give. Think of a parent's love being unconditional. We think of a parent's love being um just there for you because because you were born to them because they're your parents because you're their child but with a narcissistic parent it's a very self-serving love that is about that parent it's not about you it's not about giving to your child it is expectations of you know you do good and then i'll give you love if you're not doing good you're not showing me that you love me and by good it's their standards it's their standards of good. It's their standards of what their expectations are on you. They set the terms of the transactions. This is what I'm getting at. They set the terms of these transactions. They will say, for instance, um, if you behave, I'll, you'll get my good side. I was actually told that. If you behave. I said, define behave. Well, give me what I need. If you give me what I need, I'll give you what you need. Isn't that how it works? Well, kind of, but no. You know, like there's more to it than that. What What do you mean? What is it that you're not getting? I'm not getting your, what did it, was it? Your undying affection and, and attention. I'm not getting your, un, your worship. My what? Right? And if you don't give that, you're not going to get anything. And I said, so if I'm not showing you 100% that you're the most important thing on this planet, you're not going to give me anything? Correct. Because you haven't earned it. They, they see it as an earned thing. Give, 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 and you'll get a little bit, maybe, if they feel like it. Perfectionism is one big thing that happens with people who are raised by toxic parents. Sometimes it's not recognized as perfectionism, but it's recognized more as feeling like not good enough. And like, well, then what would be good enough? Well, if I were perfect. You know what I'm saying? So it, it can be a little bit difficult to recognize in oneself because you don't feel good enough. You think, well, I'm nowhere near perfect. But what you're aiming for is something that is inhuman, right? Because you've been taught that that's what you With transactional love, love is earned. Love, intimacy is earned. Trust and affection are earned. Words of kindness are earned. And by trust, I mean, I don't mean the trust of like, like trust should be earned, right? It should be, it should be seen. It should be witnessed we should we need to we need to form trust but the, what i mean by that is they are mistrusting in general and so they will let you in on the trust side if you earn it and it's very specific it's very um basically what was said i've heard this it was said to me and i've heard it said to other people that i don't trust you anymore because you've proven to not be on the right side what do you mean side? I wasn't on a side. I was just telling you, basically, if you see them with the mask off, you no longer are on the right side. They don't trust you anymore. So you have to earn it by pretending everything's okay. That's not really earning it. That's like hiding the truth, right? So yeah, okay, they give and they take away when they disapprove. A narcissist will give you love, they'll give you affection, then they take it away. It's the whole nature of how the, the love bombing and the devaluing cycle works, right? Here, have a little bit of love. Oh, look, I pulled the rug out from under you. Here, have some breadcrumbs. Oh, look, I swept them away. You no longer have them. Here, have some gifts. Oh, never mind. Those those aren't mine to give. I'm not. You're not. You can't have those. Or have the gifts. I gave you the gifts. What more do you want? You know, and devaluing you while they're giving you the thing. So this is what they do. It's it's tit for tat, as they say. They expect over and above for doing anything for you. In a transactional relationship, someone is going to expect you leaps and bounds over what they've done. 
So it's not exactly an equal exchange. It's more like, hey, I did the dishes. Now you have to clean the entire house and do this and do that and do this. And that's a bad example. But you know what I mean? It's like, here, I've done a little bit. Now worship me and, and show me that I how amazing I am. And you might get a little bit more later, but I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't decided if I'm, I'm going to do that or not yet. And okay, their terms and conditions are placed on you in order to receive love. That's what we talked about. So basically what they're feeling, what they're thinking, what they're um, experiencing is what do I get from this? How, how do I win or lose in this situation? They like to stay on top. They like to be in control. How do they maintain control? They maintain control by making you feel unloved and being the person, the only person, the only source that can fix that, which is them. That's how they show you. That's how they show you that it, the way they have empathy, which is cognitive empathy. So they have an understanding of what it is they're supposed to give in this relationship. They have an understanding of what it is you are sort of feeling and needing. They just won't give it because they don't have the empathy in their, in their emotional empathy or in their uh, compassionate empathy. And go watch that video from the other day. I explained what all these terms mean. They don't have a full, they're not playing with a full deck when it comes to empathy, all right? And so they are able to see what it is you need. You can see the recognition because they can mirror it and express it. They're not going to give it. They're making the choice to make it transactional because to them, it's all about staying in power and staying on top and being and not and, and controlling you so that you're controlling your feelings, controlling your emotions so that they can use you for whatever they want. Um, Classically, when you talk about transactional love, you're thinking of being bought, right? So classically, when we think about it, we're being bought, your affection's being bought, or the expectation of um, it's being purchased with the expectation of supply, attention, focus back. So a narcissist parent, say, may buy your affection. They may buy you anything you want, but they don't give you anything emotionally. The expectation is you will give to them 110% back as being loyal, devoted. It creates interesting things with loyalty binds with a parent as well because of this. They don't love you from empathy, from a place of compassion, from a place of connectedness because they can't connect. They connect th through control. Like I said, they don't have the kind of empathy that allows that that a person feels emotionally what the other person feels they have the kind of empathy that understands based on what they're reading on you based on knowing that if someone's sad you're supposed to say what's wrong you know but you do, but they don't have the the feeling of oh that's that person's sad i wonder what would help them then they don't have the compassion to then do anything about it unless there's an exchange very short talk on transactional love. If you have any questions about that, let me know in the comments. If you guys, their love is all about seeking supply. Their love is all about what it gives them. Okay. And it's painful pill to swallow. And I'm sorry, but it is the truth. If you need any more information or any help with anything related to this stuff with narcissists, Look in the main description of every video. There is a lot of info there, including ways to reach me if you need coaching or group coaching. We have a very active group right now with a lot of people, really good people, um, really good information shared and help being between everybody in there. So um, if you need it, it is available. Check it out.